Welcome to homework. So in this problem, we're going to see a big fish that is going to eat a smaller one. And we want to find the velocity of the big fish once he eats the small fish. We are given that the mass of the big fish is five times greater than the mass of the small fish. So let's just write that down. The mass of the big fish is equal to five times the mass of the small fish. And we're going to say that the positive orientation is from left to right. So on part A, we have a fish approaching. The big fish is approaching at four meters per second while the smaller fish is at rest. So the initial momentum, part A, the initial momentum is going to be equal to the mass of the big fish times the velocity of the big fish plus the mass of the small fish times the velocity of the small fish. Here, the small fish has a zero meters per second velocity since it's at rest. So let's just call it zero. And we're left with MB times BB. So we don't have MB. So we are just going to leave as a function of MB. And we have VB, which is four meters per second. Therefore, the momentum is going to be four times MB. On part B, let's calculate the initial momentum as well. Which is going to be equal to same formula, MB, VB, plus MS, VS. So let's use this. Um, this relationship over here, that MB is equal to 5 MS. So then we write 5 MS VB plus MS VS. And we can just pull the MS outside and we write MS. 5 VB plus VS. Now over here we have a vector addition. So we have to take into account the directions at which they're pointing at. And we know that the big fish is going towards the positive side. So this velocity is positive. While for the small fish, is going towards the big fish at one meter per second. Therefore, this is going to be negative one. So we have that the momentum is going to be MS multiplied by five times VB. And VB is four meters per second. So five times four is equal to 20. And then VS is going to be minus one. So 20 minus 1, we get 19 ms. On part C, we can use the same formula that we used over here. Oh, I forgot to put the subscript over here. But let's put it like momentum, initial is going to be equal to same formula, but we don't need to rewrite all over again. So MBVB plus MSVS, and then we substitute the, M, the MB for 5MS. We get this equation, and then we can pull the MS out of the parenthesis, and we get this over here, and let's just start from there. So we get MS, 5VB plus Vs, which is going to be equal to, so Vb in this case, we have five, 
positive because it's going to the right side. So five times five, let's just write MS, five times five, 25. And then VS is two, but it's going to the left side, therefore it's negative two. So 25 minus two. And we're going to get that the initial momentum for this case is 23 MS. Since we have MS over here on part C and MS on part B, let's change on part A for MS as well. And then we substitute MB for 5 MS. So it's four times 5 MS. And we get 20 MS. Now, after the big fish is the smaller one, let's calculate this. We're, gonna, we're going to have the final momentum. So the final momentum, momentum final is going to be equal to the mass of both fishes together. So MS plus MB multiplied by the velocity of both of them together. We can just call it final velocity or EF. But now we know that MB, we could also write it as 5MS. So we can sum 5MS over here with 1MS and then we get 6MS. So our final momentum is going to be equal to 6 MS VF. Due to the conservation of momentum, we know that the initial momentum has to be equal to the final momentum. So for part A, we can just equate both of these together and we're going to have that 20 MS is going to be equal to 6 MS times VF. So we can cancel out MS with MS and we're left with BF on part A is going to be equal to Let's just calculate it over here. We do 20 divided by 6. And we have 3.3 approximately meters per second. So for part A, the final velocity of the fish after he eats the smaller fish is going to be 3.3 .3 meters per second. Now over here, let's go to part B. And we have on part B that the total moment, the initial momentum is going to be 19 ms. So let's write 19 ms. It's going to be equal to 6 ms EF. And once we solve it, we can cross out both of these MSs. Once we solve it, we get that the final velocity is going to be 19 divided by 6, which is equal to 3.5. 1666666, so approximately 3.17. Now, for our third case, we get 23 ms for our initial momentum, and we know that it has to be equal to the final momentum, which is 6 ms. Bf. Once again, we cut the ms, and 
we're left with Vf, which is equal to 23 divided by 6, 23 divided by 6, which is equal to 3.83 approximately meters per second. Let's also not forget that this is in meters per second as well. And there we have it, all the velocities of the fish for each one of those situations.